Hi, this is Hal Aronson with We Share Solar. And we recently learned that a lot of you got solar panels that have a lead coming off of it that is not stripped and does not have bare wire ends. Obviously, when you hook your solar panel to the home run cable using the Wagos, you're going to need to have about a centimeter of bare metal from the positive lead and a centimeter of metal from the negative lead to hook up to your home run cable. So if you get a cable that doesn't have that already prepared, then you will need to prepare it for use. Now, from your solar panel, you may get a lead that is a sheath cable that's black, or maybe it's even white, okay? Either way, you're gonna to wanna to remove about three inches of sheathing. The tools you're gonna to need for this operation are some kind of a sharp knife. A utility knife is excellent, or an X-Acto knife. The wire strippers that we sent you, ideally they should be able to strip 18 or 20 gauge wire, AWG wire. You'll have your digital multimeter, which will help you determine um, which of the leads is positive and which are negative. And then it would be a good idea to have some red tape of some kind to mark the positive lead so that once you've determined which end is positive, you'll be able to um, mark that so that the students will be able to see that in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is remove about three inches of the cable sheathing from this lead from the solar panel. So I open my knife and I don't wanna cut all the way through the cable. I wanna cut most of the way because I don't wanna cut the wires underneath. So I push the wire flat and I score it. I cut it deep, but not all the way. But then when I get to the last centimeter, I push the knife all the way through because I'm, arguing, I'm gonna be cutting the ends off the insulated wire down there anyway. Then what I wanna do is peel off this sheathing. So see how it's scored here, but because I cut all the way through, it's easy to get it started. I grab some of the wire and I can pull on it. Now I've got about three inches of this wire liberated and I'm gonna get rid of everything that's not the insulated wires that I wanna keep and I'm gonna remove all this, what I would call detritus. Your wire stripper has a cutting tool or scissors at the very bottom. So you can use that to snip off this extra material that you don't need. And now you've got two bare wires. On some of your panels, you may find that they're not red and black. They could even be something as outrageous as blue and brown. So you won't really know which one is positive and which one is negative. Now you wanna go ahead and strip off one centimeter of the sheathing, or not the sheathing, but the insulation on this wire. Um, the way a wire stripper works is you get it to the right sized hole, that's the diameter of the wire that you're trying to cut. And this should be about 18 or 20 gauge. Uh, if you don't have the right setting on your wire stripper, choose something that looks close. So I, grab, I stick the wire in the, in the hole, I squeeze, that cuts the insulation, and then I use my thumb and I push it off. You can see now I've got some bare exposed wire. I'm gonna take off even just a little bit more. There, that should be about a centimeter. And now I'll do that again on the other lead. And if it doesn't happen right at first, or if you mess it up, you can always cut off some more wire and try again. Now I wanna find out which is positive and which is negative. So with some light hitting the solar panel, I take my digital multimeter and I set it to 200 volts DC. That's the line and dashed line marking. And I put the red lead on one wire and hold it with my finger so it's got good contact and the black lead on the other and I should get a value. Right now you should see 15.2 volts. That's great. And there's not a minus sign. So that means that the wire that the red probe is touching is the positive wire. So in this case, this red wire is the positive coming from the solar panels. I'll show you what it would look like if it was reversed. If the red was on the black, the black was on the red, you'd see that there's a minus sign there. We don't want that minus sign. So make sure you've got the right positive. And then to make it easy for future generations of students who are using this, I will go ahead and take a piece of tape to mark the positive. Here's the tape, put it on this wire. And now 
this will be good to go. Turn off the meter as always. And that, my dear friends, is how you do it. Be patient with yourself. Don't cut yourself with the knife. Um, and if you make a mistake, you can always cut off a little more wire and try it over again. Thank you. Good luck.